Justin, what can you take away from the tape from the last game to help prepare for tonight? Yeah, I think, you know, we uh, obviously gave up too much last game, and that's something that we've been doing uh, a better job of recently in terms of playing well defensively as a group of five. So, um, you know, it's a bit of an out-of-character game for us, I think, and we're just looking to lock it down a little bit more tonight. What stands out about the cracking? They don't necessarily have like, the premier guys, but they do have kind of depth all around the world. Yeah, they have a lot of depth. We were just looking at uh, goals scored by line, and all four lines are scoring at a pretty good clip at 5-on-5 five five, as well as their defensemen. So uh, they've been one of the most dangerous teams in the league at 5-on-5 five five this year, and it's going to be really important for us to be able to manage that. You look at some of the things you guys did against Colorado. Yeah, exactly. I think so. You know, obviously, um, you know, the margin for error is small and it's just a play here or there that can end up in the back of your net. So I think um, we have the recipe and we know what to do and it's just up to us to execute. With Morgan and Rasmus back, how has that kind of changed things with you and Gio in terms of like, not necessarily minutes, but just kind of the spread out depth? That yeah, have? yeah, I think it's great. I mean, we're trying to roll three defensive pairs as much as possible. Obviously, power plays and penalty kills add a little bit of a wrinkle in there, but um, I think we're really confident in all three of our pairs and the ability of, uh, for everyone to play against anybody in the league. Mitch, what can you take away from the last game in terms of maybe some defensive things that can kind of help you guys prepare for it? Yeah, just being more connected as a unit um, throughout the entire ice, really. Um, four check, having more, I'd say, layers of just you know, being harder on the forecheck as forwards, um, being connected as the F3 to the D-man to pinching, keeping pucks alive. Um, but, I mean, special teams was definitely something that uh, we need to fix. It's been a little bit weak here from our penalty kill the last couple of games and something we need to clean up. Uh, what stands out about the crack in the game? It looks like they kind of have a lot of depth up front, like in terms of the different lines that they have. Yeah, they got a lot of skill, um, a lot of speed, a lot of skill, make a lot of plays. Um, they can really burn you on the rush or turnovers through neutral zone. So for us, it's, again, making sure we're connected through that. Um, we're making the right plays. You know, if the plays are there to be made, um, make sure we're speaking to one another, talking, want the puck. But, you know, I think uh, to start here, we've got to make sure we're putting it behind them, um, trying to get on that four track, cause turnovers, and, you know, capitalize off that. Hey, Mitch, if someone said to you a few years ago, you'd be uh... – Closing in on 500 points or about 460 games, did you say that's about what I would have expected or would take that or what do you think? <laughs> um, I don't know if that would have been a conversation I had a couple years ago, to be honest, but um, yeah, I mean, it's cool. Um, but, you know, try to play this game for a bigger reason. Um, you know, try to focus on a bigger reason. That's trying to help our team win games, um, help us achieve the, the major goal here of, at the very end. So, um, you know, it's a cool thing. Um, but just try to focus on trying to help this team win, and if that's contributing that way, then you know, hopefully uh, I can help in that, that regards. First, the first part of your answer, then, you implied that you think you've come a long way, or is that uh, yeah? Um, yeah. Um, I mean, I just don't think I would have thought of it as much as a kid. I mean, I think as a kid, you just think about playing in the NHL and winning the Stanley Cup. So, I mean, that's the goal of everyone that plays in this league, and, um, you know, to points come, it's a, it's a cool feeling, but, you know, really trying to focus on it too much, I would say. Yeah, I don't think we're surprised at all. Um, I mean, we know his skill set. We know what he can do out there with the puck. And um, it's really showcased his last couple months. And really at the last end of last year, I thought he was playing some unreal hockey for us. So um, it's been great just to see him explode and, you know, just do what we know he can do. Have you been dialed in at all to the World Junior Tournament, Mitch? Or? Yeah, I've been trying to. Um, it sucks tonight that we don't really get to watch that gold medal game for Canada, but um, it's a pretty special team there. It's, we're talking in the locker room. I don't think our coaching staff would love the, the play of that last game too much with the up and down rushes, but, um, you know, it's a gritty win. Um, it's a big win. It's, it's a nice turnaround after that first 10 minutes they had or 15, whatever you want to call it, but um, that goalie was pretty unstoppable too. He was, he was pretty amazing to watch for Canada. What have you made of Bedard, what he's been able to do? Yeah, it's been special, really. I mean, like anyone that you've asked probably in the NHL, what they're saying about him, um, what a talent, what a move that was the other game. But um, just how he finds the ice very well. Um, you know, even that last game, just getting to the net, getting the puck there and, you know, not having to score the prettiest ways, but, uh, you know, just starting the, the kind of scoring off for Canada. But, um, yeah, he's been fun to watch for sure. He's got a lot of skill. We all know that his shot's unreal, but um, his work ethic, his compete on pucks has been uh, has been great to watch for me. It's, it's hard to watch the Regina Pats game in Ontario, especially being an OHL guy, but um, 
it's been fun to watch him in these last couple of World Juniors and just seeing him explode. It's uh, it's been pretty uh, pretty fun. Mark, did you ever get to see the uh, guys throw the fish at the Pike Street Murder? <laughs> yeah, a few times. I think uh, uh, we had a pretty good uh, thing going there where we'd have the you know, the stars after the game. Also had the salmon thrown into the crowd. So yeah, some good memories for sure. Uh, it was a short time there, but it was uh, some good memories for sure. Did you find it a good sports town? That was awesome. I think uh, that's the one thing that I think really stuck out to us as players was the support uh, right from day one, from when we got in that building. It was pretty cool. It was a pretty great atmosphere, and I'm sure this year it's gotten even better for them. Did you get out to see any ball games? Yeah, I, I watched uh, watched a few Mariners games. Uh, they were right in... The year that I was there uh, last year, they were right right there. They didn't get in, but uh, um, it was a pretty cool atmosphere in that in that uh, building as well. And uh, we didn't get a chance to go watch the football football game, which we would have liked to. I think we got hit with COVID or something right before we were supposed to go to that one. So that was that sort of sucked. But uh, you could tell the support for sports teams in that city is right up there with any city. Mark, looking from afar, where do you think they've taken steps on what you guys started last year as an organization or as a team? Uh, I think they just, you know, they're they're building on, I think we did a lot of good things. I think we played uh, quick, moved puck quick. I think you could see that in their game now. Uh, um, their transition game looks really good. I think they look really fast. Um, they've added some, obviously, some uh, nice, nice players to their roster, and they look pretty deep throughout their lineup. So um, uh, it looks... Looks like a team that plays really quick with a lot of pace, so we got to be ready for that. Hey, Mark, can the, uh, the veteran in you uh, get excited about what's coming in the NHL next year and, and Connor Bedard and what he's been doing with the World Junior? Oh, uh, yeah, I mean, it, he it's pretty, looks like a pretty special player. I think uh, uh, anytime uh, you're able to put up the the numbers that he's put up in that, in that tournament, it's, you know, it's, it's a pretty good tournament uh, with a lot of good players, a lot of good prospects, obviously coming up. Uh, um, but yeah, it's it's cool to see him doing it, and I think the big moments is what's impressive. Is he, you know, you know the other teams are keen in on him, and uh, he's able to still still put up those big uh, those big goals and big moments that are huge for the team. Uh, today uh, I, I didn't look at him. They told me he was fine. That's all I needed. What is what stands out about uh, Seattle's depth in terms of the challenge they present? They score. They score a lot. Obviously, they're you know I know over here in the East we wouldn't maybe be, would be paying all that much attention, but uh, you know number one team in the NHL with 505 goals. It's coming from all four lines and their defense. So uh, yeah, great depth that can make you pay when you make mistakes. They, come in ways, or lots of quickness and skill, uh, and they play very well as a team. So, um, you know, there's significant challenges there at 5-on-5. Five five. You know, uh, special teams haven't gone as well for them, and that's an area we need to we need to be better than we were the other night and try to get an edge there. Um, you know, but you know, it's a team, uh, you know, we've statistically look at them, look at them on video, you have lots of respect for them, you have lots of respect for the coaching staff, uh, but our focus will be on our game and, and how we can play. What do you, how do you defend that Sheldon one there, that good 5-5, five and five? what's the key for you guys? Well, I think it's just, it's just managing the game and, and, and not allowing momentum or fast break chances, you know, uh, they're very good in transition and uh, their offensive zone play is very good. So those are the kind of things you need to, to limit, like you do most teams, but they seem to really generate momentum and come in waves and and uh, as they wear you down, uh, shift to shift. Uh, they've got guys that are that are playing well and are confident and, and are scoring. And, um, you know, so it's about, about managing that. But again, it's, you know, uh, it's about establishing our game, and, and we think we, we've got we we can present some significant challenges to them just the same. Uh, so it'll be you know I think a, a good game in in that sense where two teams will be pushing for control of play. When you look at last game, do those just serve as reminders of what can happen if the defensive identity or things that you're doing in that regard kind of slip? Well, yeah, they slipped, slipped a bit. I mean, I'm not going to overthink it. Like, we, we gave up two goals at 5-on-5. Five five. Like, it's three goals on special teams. So, it's let's not get too carried away, you know, one way or the other. Let's sort out the special teams. And, you know, certainly we made some mistakes there that we'd like to clean up. But 
I don't think it was. Uh, uh, I don't think it was all that bad necessarily, but you know, certainly things that we could do better. Even I mean, I don't always focus on the goals. I watch the game and I watch every play. And there's there's mistakes happen when there's no goal scored that are a little bit more concerning to me than than any of the goals or maybe scoring chances even that uh, allowed allowed the game to slip away on us in terms of controlling play and staying on offense and all that kind of stuff. So. Yeah, I mean, we, we just got to do a better job in the penalty kill, in particular when puck's on our stick, get it out, you know, relieve pressure. There's n no, good, no good penalty kill. Um, uh, no good penalty kill has failed clears. You know, you, you fail, fail to clear the puck and give other teams, no matter who they are, opposition, or excuse me, additional times for the opposition to get set up in, in offense and sustain time in the uh, in the offensive zone in the power play, they're going to score, and that was an area of issue for us. So and has been for quite a while here now, especially since we've come back from the break. Um, that issue in particular about not getting the puck out, we've got to do a better job there. So those kind of details, I think, allow the game the other night to get away on us. Otherwise, you know, it's it's. Uh, I mean, it's certainly not a not a six five type of, type of hockey game. Sheldon, with your blue line getting healthier, you're now scratching some guys that have given you good games. I'm wondering how you you're going to manage that as the schedule goes along. Here. Yeah, we'll see. We're 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 talking about it. You know, obviously this is the group we're going with again here tonight, and you know this is the group we believe in. And it's a group that we you know by and large started the season with. Um, so you know we're going to. Uh, to give this a tough some time, you know, and give time for for things to settle back in here now with Sandine and, and Riley coming back, and you know Brody, you know, not too long ago, you know, wasn't wasn't a, a, an option for us. So just kind of getting back to it here. We we like a lot of things that Timmins has done, and Ben and Ben in time he's come in has done a good job for us too. So we're well aware of that. We do have some back to backs approaching. Um, but that said, I think it's also important that we give our group some time to. You know, I used the term recalibrate the other night, and I think that is important, both in terms of the pairings and how that goes, and the individual players that are coming back in to find their rhythm. So, you know, we don't want to let guys uh, sit for too long. At the same time, I do think it's important to allow our guys some time to really get their game going. With uh, Jordan, it was so uh, vital for you guys when so many guys were out. At his age, do you even consider? Trying to manage his minutes now that you have depth at hand, or is that something he doesn't even want to entertain? Well, I think it's, I think managing minutes, I think it's something that naturally comes as you, as your depth plays better, and I think that's one thing that we had, you know, with the injuries, everybody else stepped up and showed that they can take on a little bit more. I think it happens on the forward end too. Like we, you know, our third and fourth lines, we want them to be really important, and. When those guys are playing well, which I thought they did play well the other night, naturally that's going to take away from minutes from your top six guys. So you could say, you know, oh, look, he's managing the minutes. It's more so just you got more guys that are playing, and, and you can maintain a higher pace, and you can rely on more people, and uh, all of those kind of things. So I think it's very similar on defense, you know, whether that's inside a game or managing the schedule. The better everybody plays, it gives us additional options to consider those things. But inside the game itself, I, I think you know each each of those players have at different times been relied upon and, and done the job for us. So that gives Dean uh, Chinoth on the back end a lot of options, a lot of confidence to be able to trust other people. Um, so I think that's something you look at all the time with how guys are playing. I, I don't know if managing the minutes necessarily isn't necessarily the focus. It's you really want to get guys out the door and get guys involved, and and you know you, it's it's a long season and you want to maintain a certain standard of play. Like we 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 want to stay fresh and fast to be able to do that. So the more contributions we can get from guys, the the more we can do that. And like I said, I, we're trying to do that on on forward as well.